Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Halloween is coming up, so I wanted to share a true scary story that happened to me almost eight months ago. Unfortunately, I don't have evidence of it, but what, what I have is somewhat like a testimony. And I want to warn you about the dangers too, about dabbling into divination. But before I begin, let me start from all the way back to when I was in middle school. When I was walking down the stairs from home, I felt something watching me. So I turned around and looked up the stairs to see a lady standing at the top of the stairs. Her face was pale white like a ghost and she was wearing a white gown like this one in the picture, not the real picture. Ever since then, I started to believe in the existence of ghosts. On December 27, 2022, I visited my great-grandmother's funeral. Naive as I was, I took a picture of the graveyard thinking I can find evidence of ghosts and by the time I went home, I found nothing. Or so I thought. While I was resting in bed, I saw something black darting past me. It looked like a black mist-like smoke. Unfortunately, I didn't capture this on camera because I thought it was my eyes playing tricks on me. I texted my friend on December 31st, just after a couple of days I visited the funeral. You can pause here. On March 3rd, 2023, I downloaded an app after watching Kelsey Davies use it. It's called Necrophonic. I highly, highly suggest you do not download it. Trust me, you do not want to end up like me. I paid about $10 for this spirit box app. At first, when I used it, I thought it was fake. But when I began asking questions, it started to become all too real. I asked it, what is my name? And they would respond correctly. I then asked, what is the color of my jacket? And the spirits would respond by saying red, which was true. And at the same time, it was kind of hard to hear the voices clearly. But then I heard multiple voices telling me, God, that was the end of my first session. The second session when I used the app was an unforgettable experience. Before I started the session, I said out loud that I wanted to speak to light and positive spirits and that negative spirits weren't allowed. The moment I clicked start, I heard one said hi. Throughout the conversation, I hear many told me leave. I ignored it, thinking it was the right thing to do. I asked if they remembered me from last week. One said no, and the other said a soft yes. In my mind, I asked, what is the color of my jacket? I heard one response said red. I was speechless. I didn't know at that time that spirits could read minds. At the end of the conversation, after I talked to them about 14 minutes, I decided to call it a night. I then replayed the recording over again, thinking I must have missed something, and indeed I did. I heard one voice said, there is something behind you. And then it whispered, a demon. <laughs> 